Welcome to the MINFOS dispense form. This video will explain each of the fields and checkboxes that are visible on the MINFOS dispense form. When you scan the barcode on a script or repeat, or download an eScript, most of the script details are already populated on the screen for you using the downloaded information. To move between fields on the MINFOS dispense form, use the tab key on your keyboard. Using the enter key will save and process your script. The surname field is populated with the customer code and the customer details are visible in the panel to the right. The Rx date is the date the script was written. In the drug field, the brand that is selected will show and underneath the active ingredient and PBS code will be shown. To the right of this information, the panel shows the cautionary advice labels or CALs that may be applicable for the item the medication schedule, the current stock on hand, the max NHS quantity and repeats. If configured, this panel may also show the medication's location. Directions can be entered in the directions field. If the medication has any default SIGs attached to it, the KSIG button will be enabled. Pressing this will add the SIG to the label. The directions will populate in full on the label preview in the bottom left of the screen. The prescriber field shows the prescriber number and the name of the prescriber in the field to the right. Clicking the dollar sign info button will show any prescriber information saved against the selected prescriber. Moving down the screen, the Rx type field shows the script type. Use the drop down to make changes if required. The quantity of items dispensed in this script will be shown in the quantity field. The number of repeats on the original prescription should be entered in the repeats field. If this is a repeat prescription, enter the number of supplies the patient has already been given in the times dispensed field. If applicable, enter the CTG code or H if the script is handwritten. The price field will display the price to the customer. The price can be adjusted by entering a new price in the price field or by clicking the adjust button using Alt and J. The GP field displays the store's current GP percentage based on the unit cost and the price which the script will be dispensed at. The pharmacist field is where the pharmacist will enter their initials listed on their profile previously set up in pharmacist maintenance. These will be retained on that workstation unless changed by another user. If the person dispensing the script is not a fully accredited pharmacist, such as a student or dispense technician, the supervising pharmacist initials should be entered in the pharmacist field. The dispenser should enter their initials in the dispenser field. Again, these must be previously set up in pharmacist maintenance. The form type will be determined by the fields previously entered in the dispense form and should not need to be adjusted. If the form type is incorrect, please review your previous selections. Last used will display never used or the date which the customer was last dispensed this drug. Warnings are displayed in the information window underneath this field. Ticking the owing script box will dispense the prescription as an owing. To defer this script, tick the deferred script checkbox. And if this is a regulation 24 prescription, click the reg 24 checkbox. The reg 25 checkbox will be checked if the script is an immediate supply necessary. If the medication requires GST to be applied, click the checkbox. When dispensing an OTC item, with GST on sales, this field will be automatically checked. The brand specific checkbox reflects how the drug name will be displayed on the label. When the checkbox is unchecked, the label will display the active ingredient listed first. If you require the dispense label to be printed brand specific, simply check the brand specific checkbox or press Alt and B. Check the special price checkbox to retain a special price for an individual customer's medication. The special price is available for private and under payment prescriptions for prices which are greater or less than the normal price to a customer. The therapeutic premium checkbox 
will be checked if the medication being dispensed has a therapeutic premium charge. Moving back to the top of the dispense form, you will find the customer Medicare number and type of entitlement. If the customer has an entitlement, the number will be displayed in the field below. The safety net total and contribution can be seen on the right hand side. The hospital field displays the hospital provider number if applicable. And the Z disk date is the dispense date of the script. The RAC FID will show the residential aged care facility ID for customers who are assigned to a nursing home. The RX done field shows the total number of scripts dispensed so far today. Clicking this button will launch the script inquiry window. The authority field is updated when the script authority number is entered. The RTAC field is where the Reproductive Technology Accreditation Committee number should be entered for Section 100 listed IVF medicines. The RTAC number can be found on the prescription. The EPAD button allows the dispenser to add whatever item is currently being dispensed to an EPAD order. It is recommended that you check how the pharmacy usually handles dispensary ordering before using this function. The shortcut buttons below open the EQ for pharmacies using the EQ function, the PDS error list, the PBS error list, PBS warnings, and if applicable, the booking queue. To open any of these, simply click the button. In addition to these buttons, there are many shortcuts available to help you navigate easily in the MINFOS dispense form. Visit the MINFOS Help Centre to download and print the handy keyboard shortcut strip, which can be attached to your dispensary computer keyboard or monitor. The inset window displays a list of items dispensed to the patient from the pharmacy. These can be selected by double clicking on the item. The script options screen is displayed and an action can be selected from this screen. Right click anywhere in this area to view a legend explanation for all of the symbols. The PBS window shows the PBS status of scripts that you have recently transmitted and any errors or warnings returned. Finally, we will explore the buttons along the bottom of the dispense form. Change will open the customer editing window where you can update the customer information. Full Hist opens the script inquiry window and displays a full dispensing history for the selected customer at your pharmacy. Add opens the customer entry window to add a new customer. View notes displays the notes tab of the customer editing window, allowing you to read or add notes to the customer profile. Interactions displays medicine interaction information if there is any applicable. The drug info tab displays government pricing details and drug details such as the manufacturer. You may also print the CMI from here. Generics opens the generic drug listing window. In this window, you can review and select an item that is available for generic substitution with the original item. Special opens the script options window. Extended displays the extended dispense options. From here, select an option or press escape to return to the dispense form. Rx check opens the pharmacist check screen. This is where scripts will be scan checked after they have been dispensed. Finally, OK will finalize the script you are currently dispensing and Cancel will clear and close the dispense form after a prompt is shown. As you have seen, the MINFOS dispense form displays a lot of information and allows the dispenser to launch other windows from within the form. As you learn more and begin using MINFOS, you will become very familiar with this screen.